Oh, you're building a whole city of San Francisco? We gotta take a peek at what that looks like. Oh, this is awesome. We're in our seventh year, and we're here at Discovery Day at AT&T Park, the free hands-on science finale. About 70 to 80,000 people come to the Bay Area Science Festival every year. It's one of the largest education events in the country and the largest free education event here in the Bay Area. Kids are out here having a great time, being exposed to a variety of different kinds of science and getting stimulated and energized by it. Here we have a pretty good Coit Tower. We've got the Golden Gate Bridge in the background and AT&T Park up here. We've done a number of city builds. This is one of the biggest city builds I've seen. It's certainly the largest attended we've had. And every year it gets a little bigger. Kids are having to line up to find a space. I'm so thankful that Playwell's been with us for the last four years, showing that even playing with Lego is an important part of STEM. And hopefully they'll go on and do a science career or an engineering career, or they'll be artists. I'm building the Bay Bridge. Yes, the new one or the old one? The, the one that just lives around here. <laughs> we use Lego to uh, teach kids about STEM concepts, so science, technology, engineering, and math. Some people put the A in there as well for art. The motor turns the gears. You can fiddle around with it with your, with your imagination. So are you ready? Yeah, I'm just, I, I'm just doing an interview. The most fundamental thing that you have to learn to be a successful builder of structures is overlapping. To overlap, you really just have to make sure that your bricks are attached maybe at a 90 degree angle. The idea is they rely upon each other, right? We're not just having one vertical stack. Instead, this brick depends on this brick, which depends on this brick, which depends on that brick. And when they're all interlocked like that, you have a very strong structure, much more resistant to forces that would topple something over. But what Playwell did this year for the Science Festival means more than anything else. At the site uh, where uh, so many of the North Bay fire victims, the fire response was happening, two weeks after the fires, they decided they were gonna come up and build even bigger. And they helped the community rebuild a version of Santa Rosa in Lego. And to see those kids be able to rebuild and have a part in rebuilding Santa Rosa, I could see how much that meant to the families there. What's wonderful about this is what a collaborative effort it is. You know, all the kids who have built structures here to contribute to it. They have a vision, and the kids get to collaborate in that vision of what they would like their city to be. I'm building a hotel, Japan Town. It's a garden. Yeah, we're we'll get The yellow house. Building a rainbow tower. It doesn't matter how big it is or whether it's to scale, they connect. And everybody had a part in it. It's really satisfying. Really wonderful to see how it's really greater than the sum of its parts. Put it all together, you've got a real city.